Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer. See, I thought I would start off my unboxing of I, Napoleon with a joke, but it fell short. So today we're looking at I, Napoleon, designed by Ted Racier and published by GMT Games. Now, this one is going to be super cool because I've actually had the privilege to be able to play this game. So I already know what's inside this box, but I haven't seen what it looks like on the inside, brand new unboxing. So let's take a look at this thing. Um, so on the back, all you're really going to see is just a picture of some of the cards, a little bit of the map, not too much. But uh, what you need to know is this is for one player. It is one to four hours. It has a complexity level of three. You think this game is going to be harder than what it is, but it actually is not that bad. Um, I was actually really surprised because I thought the same thing. thought it was going to be difficult, but it actually played pretty smooth. So... Let's get this thing open and let's take a look and see what we have inside. Now, I will tell you, I've, I've played this. My rating on it was, I thought was pretty good. I found out I did some stuff wrong and my rating's only been going up ever since. Uh, I've really been wanting to get this game to the table again and I am now going to be able to get it back to the table really soon. All right, okay, this box. It's kind of really, there we go. Whew, that is one heavy, thick, thick, thick box. Okay, so we get it opened up. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off. We're going to see a rules of playbook. And this thing sinks pretty thick. Okay, it's a pretty good book. All right, looks like we're going to have about 23 pages. It looks like it's in traditional uh, GMT fashion. Now here we're going to have a picture of what the board's going to look like. Um, so it looks like we got the full campaign scenario set up. Now that's what I play is I played the full campaign, but I know you don't have to play the full campaign and that's what I'm super excited. I want to play just some of the scenarios. All right. Okay. So let's take a look. This lo looks like it is very typical GMT fashion as far as the uh, rule book goes. Uh, if there's anything that you, uh, need to look at a little bit longer, um, just go ahead and pause real fast. All right, game in, outcomes, all right. Card play and some clarifications. I definitely need some clarifications on some of the cards, but um, all right. And see, it looks like here's some of the different scenarios. So that's, that's what I'm really curious about playing. Some of the scenarios to where it's not the full four hour game, but uh, some of the shorter games and how that works. Okay, so that's the rules. Now we're gonna have a playbook. So the playbook is going to be, this is even thicker. Oh, no, it's 32 pages, about the same. So we got a quick start guide for the playbook. Looks like we're going to have some examples of play in here. And the sequences of play are, man. So, yeah, let's see how this thing works out. Card manifest. All right, let's just take this. So it looks like, here we go, your setup phase. Looks like a bunch of the different cards. Uh, card manifest. So it looks like they're, they're going to cover all the different cards in here. So you can actually go in here and you can look and see what some of the cards are going to do. Um, or why they designed the cards the way they did. Okay. Napoleon Chronological 1769 to 1821. All right. Looks like we're going to have a little bit of history there. So if you like Napoleon, Napoleon history, you're going to love this. All right, a St. Helena lullaby, okay? And there's your full sequence of play, your income marker track, which I know, I believe those are on the board. Okay, let's see, now what do we have? We have the campaign battle map. Yeah, so whenever you go into your different campaigns, you're going to sign your course, your commanders, uh, any strategy and tactics cards you're going to play here. Uh, your use commanders are going to go over here, and then your course campaign modifiers, current campaign. And you do have right here, this is all just the different instructions on how to do a, a campaign resolution and um, on your dice roll, what the outcome is going to be. Okay. Backside of this potential campaign selection table. So it looks like if I uh, use this table below to aid in selecting a playable campaign during the potential campaign uh, segment. So you can actually use this side when you're trying to figure out what campaigns you're going to be playing. Very cool. All right, here's all the tokens. And then there's not a lot of tokens and counters that you're going to see in this. Um, but you're definitely going to be using a lot of these. Okay, it looks like they're they're all two-sided. Basically, the front side and back sides are mostly the same on all of them. Um, but these, in typical GMT fashion, quality is just top-notch. These are nice, nice, thick counters, too. I really like those counters. All right, now this board, I'm going to let you know, this board is huge. 
This is a six panel board and it takes up the table. So I will do the best that I can to try to show you what this thing is gonna look like and I'm gonna have to do it probably in some parts. Okay, so we got the, the right side over there. So you're gonna have all your Bonaparte family tree on this side, okay, or up here you got your wife, Napoleon's bed, your I Napoleon and your politics, okay? Uh, you're gonna have any political or potential treaties and potential campaigns are gonna be down here. Um, any uh, cards that you're gonna get for your current trees, your commanders, your campaign, campaign modifiers. So if you draw those throughout the game, that's where they're gonna go. Okay, you got your diplomatic track, which is gonna be here in the middle. You're gonna be, you got a diplomacy phase you're gonna be doing and trying to figure out whether everyone's hostile, allied. Of course, you know, uh, Britain, they're always hostile. Okay, um, all these blue areas are some of the different nations and stuff that you're gonna be dealing with, okay, which you'll see. Now, you do have this nice sequence of play right here. Um, I reference this a lot uh, when we were going to the game. It actually was really helpful. And then you're also gonna have this um, card draw track, okay? And the card draw track is you're always gonna be drawing five cards, but you may potentially be drawing more um, but you do have to roll a dice to see if you draw more. And then, oh, okay, let's flip this. Okay, and so then this is the top part. So your general records track, I think I got this on. So this is where you're gonna have some different tokens. Uh, they're gonna go um, across this, um, this track and that's what's gonna give you your points to be able to do different things. And I know Cody, in his review, he's gonna, he would have covered all of, this, all of this and how this works. But this is the year phase that you're going to be going by. So if you do the full campaign, you're going to start at 1793, and you're going to go all the way over here to 1817, 1821 era. So there is, I mean, it's, it can be quite long if you do the entire campaign. But this map is, it's actually a really, really nice map. Very well done. I like how everything sits on the, sits on the board. It looks just gorgeous when the game's set up. It's like you can get a bunch of bags. Okay, probably for all your different cards. You're gonna get one dice that's gonna come with the game. Okay, just a regular 10-sided dice is all it is. Okay, three decks of, of packs of cards. Um, so the dice, I know we, we used a dice tray when we did ours. It's, uh, the dice actually roll really fine, really good. Uh, the numbers varied all over the place. Okay, so it didn't seem like it favored one number or another. All right, now we're gonna have three different decks of cards. And so let's go ahead and take a look at those. There are three different packs of cards that the game's gonna come in. And you know what, I will even, let's see, we'll zoom in just a little bit on these. I'll try to keep them in screen. I'm good about wobbling them out of screen. All right, so these, so cards you're gonna find, it looks like these are, um, I believe the, uh, trying to think of what you call them. These are used for like uh, putting, you're gonna put different cards underneath these if I remember right, um, or not. Uh, some of these I'm trying to remember. I didn't play all of the all of the campaign, but these are your I Napoleon. These are your emperor cards here. All right. Some of them. Okay. All right. Let's flip this over. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay. All right. So you're gonna have. Let's put these down. You're gonna have these cards here. These are gonna be the, the same on both sides, and these um, are kind of like little index cards. So these are gonna store different cards underneath in different eras of the game and different stats or different times, you're gonna be pulling those cards and you're gonna be adding them to your deck, okay? One thing about this game is I did not set it up uh, when I was playing it. Cody already had it set up when I played with him. Um, so we didn't, uh, I didn't necessarily go through all that step. I just kind of know about most of it, but let's go and take a look at some of these cards. Um, and I, I know on the cards down on the bottom, it's gonna basically tell you, this is like here, you're gonna, uh, any bonuses you're gonna get at the beginning of the year. So you're plus two eight per year and it's kind of down here helps you find it and if i remember right these down here kind of tell you um what errors are coming out they'll also let you know that if uh, this card replaces another card or if this card comes out another card gets discarded they'll let you know that as well um so let's take a look at some of these cards all right so the artwork i do like on this game so and these cards are actually really really nice um, and this is one big thick deck and you're actually shuffling a lot of these cards a lot so uh, definitely when you're playing this game you want to make sure that your cards are constantly getting mixed up um, but all the cards are all the cards in this game are different some of them may be kind of relatively similar there there may be some duplicates um, i don't really off the top of my head remember seeing many duplicates 
Um, I do remember seeing some cards that were very, very close to what they did. So, but no, it's, there's a lot of, a lot of text on these cards and it actually may seem like a lot, but believe me, it's not, it really is not. Okay. Um, it just, it seems way, way more so than what it is. Um, because usually on your cards, you're going to have a couple different sections. You're going to, and you're going to read the top part, and it's going to tell you when you may or may not be able to use that card. And see, in all these, yeah, these should be all your green cards, and I'm guessing the next deck's going to be the same. So these are all the cards that are, you're going to be adding to your current draw deck, and, and as the years go on, you're going to be adding more. Um, you might be uh, discarding different cards, you know, like failure results as Expedition uh, looks like one C. Um, so yeah, so like usually when revealed, you take care of that. Then you have like your independent commander or campaign expedition effects. It just depends on whether it's in play or not. Um, so yeah, so almost every card just has a when revealed. So you just draw it, read your when revealed, and that's going to tell you when you may or may not play it. You know, if it's uh, like 1796, um, you'll end up discarding the card. Um, but this game actually plays, it really does play very smooth. Um, I liked, I liked the way it played. Um, this is actually one of those solo only games that I really, really enjoyed playing this as a two player game. Cause there really is a lot to this game. And, you know, sometimes there might be a little too much to remember. Um, just depends on, on how you play some, you know, some of these games I'll sit there and, you know, I may play it for an hour, then I'll go do some stuff and then I'll, I'll come back and I'll play it some more. Um, then I'll come back and I'll play it some more. Um, but this is one of those games as a two player game, then you can actually, um, kind of work together as a team to try to remember all the different stuff, kind of work together on making your de decisions. Uh, this game played, played really well that way. Played really well that way. All right. See, like those two cards are close as far as when to be revealed, but they have totally different effects, different cards. I mean, it's just. Wow. I mean, the designer put so much incredible work into this game. It is absolutely, absolutely amazing. So um, I can honestly say that, you know, after playing this game, you know, the more, like I said, the more I play it, the more my rating on this game actually goes up. Um, oh, you just, it's one of those games that you just totally, really appreciate. Huh, this one pack doesn't want to. Usually I can slide those and they'll, and they'll open right up. And just get a little, little hole in there and that'll pop it right off. All right, but no, this is one of those games that, man, you just really appreciate everything that the designer did. And you can just tell the designer that, I mean, he really was in to his Napoleon history. I uh, hope that's all staying in focus for you. Well, sometimes my camera likes to bounce in and out. But there is, man, there is a lot of cards in this game. I think by the time Cody and I finished our game, we had way more cards in our discard pile than we actually had in our draw pile. I mean, it's you're you're going through cards, different of things that you do. You know, cards are constantly, you know, going from the board back to your draw pile. You're hoping to get them back, especially your commanders. You know, if you lose your commanders, you definitely want them back. Um, but yeah, and there's so many cards like, oh man, these are good cards. And all of a sudden, next thing you know, something comes up, something happens, and then they leave the game. But, oh no, this is, these look, these look really good. So, and I, and I like how the, I like how the cards are laid out too. I kind of like this, you know, this nice old style artwork that just kind of sits up here. Um, you, you know, you get your text, you got your different effects. I mean, I think, oh, it, I mean, this game, when it's on the table and you're playing this game, I mean, you got cards scattered all over the place, but it, it just, it looks really, really good. Waterloo campaign. There you go. All right. And that looks like it is going to be everything that's in this box, all the different cards. Um, now just for giggles, 
We'll take a look underneath these. Uh, nothing underneath there. I wasn't expecting anything. Sometimes I have seen some games kind of hide things. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put these here. I'm gonna worry about, I'll come back later and I'm going to get those in some bags or something along those lines. Get this game organized a little bit better, okay? We'll take these and we're just gonna put them right down in here. This is a game that I like to build custom inserts and I can see myself totally building a custom insert for all, the, all these different cards in this game. Let's put that dice down there, there we go. Okay, now we got all the cards in and see and just right there alone, I don't think we're, you would have too much of a problem with them moving around, especially by the time you get the board put back on there. Okay, let's just stick this on here for now. I'll go back through a little bit later. We'll get all this punch, get those in a bag, get them set up in the middle. Okay, we're gonna have our campaign battle map. We're gonna have our rules play. We're gonna have our playbook. Everything sits in there nice. Okay, I'm gonna slide that cover down and there you go. That is I, Napoleon by GMT Games. Okay, and once again, designer Ted Racer. Fantastic game, absolutely phenomenal. Um, I encourage you to take a look at it if you've played it. I would love to know what your thoughts on this game are. Um, I think it's an absolutely fantastic game. And if you love Napoleon, you actually should, I mean, you should totally look into this game. So, hey, uh, and so there you go. That's I, Napoleon. Uh, hit that like, subscribe, um, put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, sorry about the bad joke, but nah, I'm not the joke guy. That's Cody. And once again, thanks for watching. Hey, you guys need a teacher? Yeah, you guys yeah. need a teacher? Well, I'm, I'm really familiar with this game. I played this game uh, probably two dozen times. Uh, this game's called Captain Sonar, right? It's one of the best games I've ever played. First off, have you ever played Battleship? Yes. Yeah. Identical. Identical <laughs> to Battleship, all right? That's why you've got the border up the way that you set it up here, and you've got these different sectors, right? So what you're doing is you guys yell out numbers. You'll say, like, 5B. And if that's the number they were thinking of, then you get one of these uh, foam pieces right you just get one and whoever ends up with the most full pieces at the end wins now it's called captain sonar for a reason because what you do is one of your team you have to choose them is the sonar right so you use kind of like you know, clicks and pings to kind of determine when they're lying or being dishonest you can be like or ping ping and then if you feel like sense it you know it takes practice i'm just gonna say it takes practice it's really confusing so you know you got these sonar cards you use those and then these are your different weapons, your different weaponry, right? So you can use either a submarine or you can use a, 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 a disc, like a frisbee, with explosives attached to it. And so you just throw those across. Those are the numbers that you use to determine whether you hit. And that's how you play the game. Super simple. All right, All right so you guys don't need this anymore. So, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.